The Chalk Line, or Juala, is a new Netflix original movie from director Ignacio de Tape, but that is the first directorial kind of feature, has done shorts before. It's been a very long time since I've been excited to come talk about a story that was unique, that had me excited to talk about. I review so much content and I just kind of go blah, and this is what I think about it. Kind of just spew the words on and then give my thoughts and processes. And every once in a while, you get a unique one where a reviewer such as myself or a critic, whatever you want to call us, I go, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to talk about that. And that's when you know you're probably in for something special. So let's jump in. A couple temporarily adopts a young girl that they found wandering alone in a road. I actually knew next to nothing about this. I just saw it pop up on Netflix and you know, you know what? I'm going to give that a try. How long do you spend? Let me know in the comments kind of surfing the, the, the Netflix web of just, you know, scrolling past films and films like, ah, give me something unique. And every now and again, you're like, OK, I have to read the subtitles, but that's OK. I'm going to give this a go. I have to say, first and foremost, right from the outset, watch it in its original language. It is a Spanish movie, and I think you need to watch it in its Spanish original language and read those subtitles. You know, it doesn't take long. It took me literally just a few minutes for my brain to adjust, and it was like I was watching the movie as it was supposed to be, and I forgot that I was reading. That's always a good indication as to the storytelling and whether the film is drawing you in. The dubbing isn't bad, but it doesn't quite equate to what the feeling is that they want to get from it. So if you're like a, a stickler for I don't read subtitles, I, I like the dubbing then you know do what you got to do to watch a good movie but if you want those nuances the good voice inflections the tone that the film is going from the actors then that's the way you should watch a movie in its original format if at all possible now this movie is an hour and 46 minutes long that can be a bit too long when you're messing with that kind of thriller horror genre but this film is more than that there's a drama story within this thriller horror story and it's not really horrific it's more thriller once we get to that last half an hour of the film that's when the the, the thriller horror kind of kicks in but the first part of the film really a big majority of it is figuring out who this girl is and that's where the title comes into the chalk line i don't think i'm giving any spoilers but the chalk line comes into where this young girl has chosen not to speak for whatever reason and she lives within the boundaries of a chalk square and what that means is she only feels safe with inside a square she will literally have a fit or go crazy or you know like like shake and get really 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 upset uh, if that chalk line is broken and so what we see is she 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 bonds with the people that found her she's not doing well in the hospital and goes home and that's where the majority of this film stays as a viewer we go on this ride as this couple tries to figure out what this girl is about who she is trying to help her talk expanding her chalk squares to most of the house so they're making lines for her so she can feel safe within the boundaries now having had an autistic son having had i still have an autistic son but spent 20 years raising a person with difficulties I felt like this got it right as to how you would deal with someone like that like just those those mannerisms those things that creating a world that is safe for someone that has issues is really important and then seeing someone come in and breaking into that world it made me go nah, don't do that that's not the right thing so I think they managed to get the viewer on the side of the family especially this young girl and that's the mystery but the, this, the latter half of this film kind of flips the film on the side and it, it's always throwing kind of shade at the young girl for all intents and purposes what she's doing around the house looks like she could be the thing that the film is pointing fingers at. I like a mystery that keeps me guessing and goes okay here's one th side of the story now let's show you the other and it literally flips its side in the, uh, on its head and goes okay this is all the stuff that you missed you probably will guess a few of the things that are going on and you'll be like maybe this is it instead of that i like that i like it that it keeps you guessing makes you want to kind of figure out the mystery it's also really tense but there's a stepping up of tenseness so it starts off with the score kind of 
overbearing. It's a kind of a negativity in my viewpoint because the score sometimes is too loud for its own good. Really kind of going, this is the feeling you need to be having right now. And sometimes it works. Other times it just was too much for me. But there is a tenseness that keeps leveling up. And you don't know it's leveling up until you're sitting forward on your seat and going, oh my gosh. And then when the story is revealed, you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> just extra levels of, oh right, this is what's actually happening. And so when I finally got to the end, I felt really satisfied with the story, the mystery around it, the acting. I thought the young, uh, the young female actress was fantastic. I thought the parents, what they're going through, you know, they have their own stories and issues of their own life. And that is portrayed enough within the story that gives enough of their background, making us care for them as well. Not much is known about the neighbors that kind of, kind of try to influence their thoughts on how to raise a child or what they should be doing but for the most part it's enough for you to not care about them but to know about them really it focuses on the mother and the father and this young child and what has happened to her and why she's like that i'm not going to go into any mysteries suffice to say that if you're going to talk about spoilers in the comments below make sure you give ample space and then talk spoilers because you can easily mess up this film for people if you say a few lines. It's one of those once the mystery is revealed, it's revealed. There's also this thing that the director does, which I think is fantastic. Doesn't need to show us everything. Gives us an idea or kind of the conclusion to a thing that's happened and then skips to the next scene. Because you already have an idea of that. So many films aren't confident enough in their storytelling or the thing that you've just shown that they have to show every single nuance. Uh, it's the mise-en-scene and sometimes people that are new to filmmaking use the mise-en-scene. I'm going to show everything in the forefront. I'm going to show you every single thing that's in this room because you, the viewer, need to see that. I need to have all the, you know, the unedited kind of footage and there it is. Not a lot of films do that, but some people that aren't confident in filmmaking techniques sometimes use that as a crafty art thing and it doesn't always work. Here, for a first-time feature director who's only directed shorts so far, as far as I can see, hell of a thing to be brave enough just to go, here's the thing, now we're skipping on to the next because you understand it. I think you, the viewer, are smart enough to get this. I thought this was thoroughly entertaining. There wasn't much that I disliked about this film. I'm going to give this a solid four and a half Nicolas Cage's out of five. <laughs> you got one. It's great thriller, great story, great acting, the way it's filmed. The side note, the music is sometimes not quite what it needs to do. It's overbearing in places. I think it's a, the right length, gives us enough time for the characters and makes me sit forward on my seat. And when the story is revealed, I was like, oh, OK, that's really clever. I like what you did with the mechanics of the chalk drawing with the child, then revealing the story of that nature. All kind of the answers answered. Let me know your favorite type of thriller mystery film like this at the moment. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.